Hi. Hi, Normani. You look beautiful. How are you? I'm great. How are you? How are you doing? Guys? We're doing great. Better now that you're here. I'm Becca. That's Mike D. We're in Providence. We wish we could all be in studio together, obviously, but this will do for now. And everything going well today for you? Yeah, everything's going great. I can't complain. The That's scenes look nice behind you. It looks like a nice day out there. I know it does. Got my dog uh, sunbathing. <laughs> what kind of dog? He's a King Corso. Oh, beautiful. What's his name? Dior. Dior. Oh. Nice. Love, love a Dior. So Normani, we're going to get right into it. Obviously wild side. Everybody is loving it. How did this collab with Cardi B come about? It was honestly so organic. Um, neither of us knew that this would be the record that we would collaborate together on. And I knew that I wanted to do something with her. I was in rehearsal for about three weeks preparing for the music video already. Um, and I just, I reached out. I was like, yo, we gotta do something together. And she mentioned this record and I'm like, yo, that's the song that I'm actually putting out first. That's my first single. So it just, it all aligned. And honestly, she bodied it. She bodied, mm. it, bodied it, bodied it. And I felt like her delivery on this was something different than I feel like she's been able to, to do on any other record. You know, this is an R&B record and she, she glided on it. Uh, it had such a nostalgic feel to it too. It just felt like something like a nice throwback track, but obviously here in 2021, but you said you were rehearsing ready for three weeks. The choreography in the music video is absolutely insane. It is so well done. How long in total did it take for the choreography to get that all down? Um, well, there's different sections. I'm dancing from start to finish. So to complete everything about a month and a half, just to you know lock it in, get it in our bodies, get it perfect. And then there's also a lot that we had to had to practice in terms of like the sliding section, you know, there's other entities and things that we had to like keep in mind aside from the choreography itself. But in particular, that voice section, which is the challenge that everybody's doing, we call it the voice section because it's different for me. I'm all about like hairography and <laughs> sex and vibes, but this is very, very like masculine for me. Um, that took probably about a week for me to get in my body, but I needed the whole month and a half. It just got better and better and better and better and better and better each time we did it. So, yeah. And at the core, Normani, obviously you're a wonderful singer and you're so talented, but dancing is probably one of your first loves as well. So, I mean, dancing is going through this renaissance right now with TikTok and challenges and just kind of speak to that a little bit for us. It excites me. Like the dancer in me is just so liberated and excited. Like every time I see a video, like I'm just, I freak out. I don't think that anybody understands what that means for me because I know, I know how much I respect the dance community, you know, because I do come from the dance community. So it's just like a whole other, like I said, level of respect that I have for them and, and knowing too, like that I know that they feel undervalued especially in this industry so for me I always stress I'm like they're not the backup they're not the backup dancers they're the reason why the video looks the way that it does look they help any artist be able to bring a record to life you know and I feel like that needs to just be talked about more and they need to be praised more so I just i so so appreciative and like I said even some of the TikToks that I see that aren't doing the exact choreography, the fact that they got up and they're moving and getting active, that's really just, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. It's all about expression and putting your own spin on things. Is yeah. there some, when it comes to singing and dancing, do you prefer one over the other? Um, Not necessarily, you know, singing is something that I always knew that would be my profession. I just always knew like God and I, he made it very clear. He's like, this is, this is your calling. This is your purpose. So I knew in some way that music would be a part of my purpose, right? It was something that I was really, really terrified of doing when I was younger, which is why dance for me was so pivotal and was very, very huge for me because that was my way of being able to express myself. You know, I feel like myself, I feel like that's my best way to communicate through my body. And so 
having that outlet and that form of expression, like I said, led me to to falling in love with with singing and music. And yeah. I, I love that dancing was what helped you express yourself through singing. I yeah, think it made, really it made me feel like confidence in it. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to feel confident with the reaction from this record so far. I mean, I know the day it came out, we played it on our morning show and we were getting texts and tweets. Like, I mean, when we, anytime we talk about you on our social media, it is like, I, I want to tweet about you every time I tweet, to be honest, or just mention you because the reaction <laughs> the is insane. <laughs> you got such a rabid fan base, but 22 million views already on YouTube. Crazy. How does it feel to have this type of reaction already to the record? It is mind blowing. Like it's an out of body experience, especially like I said, my fans, I've been gone for two years. So you never know, like coming back, if it's still going to be the same energy than when you left. So it just, it exceeded my expectation. And honestly, like people that I've looked up to for such a long time, like being like, yo, I respect what you do. Great job, kid. Like, I'm very, very proud of you. Even just in terms of like my peers, the people that I work with, like, it just, it, it means a lot. And not that we should seek or strive for validation. Everybody wants a pat on the back every now and then. No, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. <Are> <laughs> yeah, I work very, very hard. And so like the people that I did it for, you know, first myself, but also like my fans, I'm telling you, like I think about them every single step of the way. And the fact that they were so patient and they, they've been streaming it and like, watch the video over and over again it just it's it's reassuring I, I can imagine that it would be and you just mentioned uh peers and people who who, who were you most surprised to hear from uh when wild side came out um I would say I mean in terms of like immediate response I remember seeing Lil Nas X's tweet to me and it just it lit my heart like it just really it meant a lot to me because like I said it's it's really scary being gone for so long but for one of my peers to be like yo I respect what you do this inspires me this is making a cultural shift like that's all I strive to do anytime I step in the studio anything that I touch like I want to I'm like what shift is this going to create how is this going to change the way that people are making music videos how is this going to change the way people figure out and determine like how long they need to prepare for a music video, you know, like it only looked that way because I had a month and a half, <laughs> you know, work ethic. I put time, my blood, sweat and tears into it. So the fact that, the fact that he loved it was very, very exciting. And it meant a lot. Like for me, those are the moments that's like, that's success to me. <laughs> Wild Side is the single uh, with Cardi B. Now you mentioned, hey, listen, it's been, and I, I remember seeing this in a tweet. Uh, you and Cardi had the exchange. You said it's been, a, it's been two years. So what's the biggest difference between Normani of today and Normani of two years ago? Wow. <sighs> biggest difference would definitely be me not getting in my own way. You know, I think that sometimes I have made up in my mind how something's supposed to go because I know where I want to be and I know the potential that I have. Um, but sometimes I just, I mentally get in my own way and at times I'd rather not try than fail. And I think that I've just been really, really trying to allow myself the opportunity and the freedom to be a new artist. You know, sometimes I get compared to many, many artists that have been doing this for a very long time. <laughs> and I'm flattered by that. But then at the same time, I think that it limited my creativity in the beginning and also limited me from being able to ex to enjoy the, the process as much as I deserve to, because I was just so in my head and standing in my own way. Like I'm my own worst enemy. That saying couldn't be any more real for me. So I'm um, I'm working through that and I feel like I'm really proud of myself. There were even things with this video that I'm like, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. But one of the sections almost got taken out too, but I was like, trust yourself. You know, Go with your gut. It is what it is. This is where it was meant to end up and it's great. And Normani, we're living in a time where the ladies are just absolutely killing it. Just so many powerful females out there, especially in the music industry, just doing their thing. It's a very just a, a proud moment for everybody witnessing it. Obviously, you being one of them as well. 
to the little girls who get to watch you in your music videos being so confident in, in just doing your thing. What is one thing uh, you would say to them, especially to, to your fans here in Rhode Island? I would say just believe in yourself. As cliche as that sounds, know that you have something to offer. We're all here because we have purpose. We all have a calling. We all have a mission and something that we're meant to do, you know? And it's much, much bigger than yourself. It is about impacting the world and making a difference in even just one person's life. So acts of kindness, you know, whatever that may be to you, everybody has something that they're great at and have purpose in. So I would just say, trust yourself, trust yourself. Don't overthink, ignore the haters and focus on the people that genuinely love you. I think that's great advice for somebody who's great even advice. not even just little girls, but people girls in their thirties as well, just like me. So no and guys, hey, and guys, and everybody, uh, <laughs> everyone, right? Oh, everybody, <laughs> the Dior outside, everyone, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, listen, Normani, this has been such a pleasure and we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us here in Providence. Wild Side is the single featuring Cardi B. Normani, we are huge fans here on Hot 106 and thank you so much. Thank you. This was great. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>